Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich have been crisscrossing Florida, working to convince voters that they are the best Republican to take on President Barack Obama. But the rallies and speeches only tell a small part of the story. We need a candidate who can beat President Obama. The Sunshine State's television airways have been full of commercials for and against the candidates. A significant number have been paid for by so-called super PACs, outside groups that can't legally coordinate with the campaigns, but they can spend an unlimited amount of cash. Super PACs are flexing their financial muscle for the first time in a presidential election allowed by a 2010 federal court ruling. In the past, people could only give $2,500 per general or primary election cycle. Now you're seeing in some of the filings $100,000, $500,000 checks, sometimes $7 million in support of a candidate. And a Tuesday deadline is giving us a much clearer look at just how much money super PACs raised and spent in the last year. Restore our futures. One big spender, restore our future. The pro Mitt Romney group spent more than $17 million. Winning our future. And another, Winning Our Future, supports Newt Gingrich. It spent nearly $9 million. Casino owner Sheldon Adelson and his wife each wrote checks for $5 million to the group, essentially keeping Gingrich's campaign afloat. But those numbers pale in comparison to American Crossroads, led by former Bush advisor Carl Rove and former Mississippi Governor Haley Barber. It raised $51 million. That's a significant amount because they have about 15 or 16 or so million cash on hand, that is money in the bank that they can use to turn around and spend on advertisements. Tuesday's filings also include one from comedian Stephen Colbert's Americans for a Better Tomorrow Tomorrow Super PAC. Americans for a Better Tomorrow Tomorrow believes. He told the Federal Election Commission, I'm rolling seven digits deep after raising just over a million dollars. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.